In this video, we're going to learn how to set up reference images for modeling. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to our Create panel under Geometry, Standard Primitives, and let's choose Plane. Go ahead and use the Square Creation method and left click and drag right here in the front view to create a square. Let's change our length and width to 200 on both of those. And then we're going to open up the Material Editor and let's drag in a standard material onto our graph. With that, let's double click on Diffuse Color and then double click on Bitmap. This should bring you to your Scene Assets folder under Images and in this you should see Pod Back, Front, and Side. Double click on Front and that will assign that to the material. Double click on the material and you'll see that it's selected with this dotted line around the edge and let's change our self illumination to 100. That ensures that we don't have any odd shading on our reference images while we're modeling. Now with that let's create two more just like it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the diffuse color bitmap and on this one I'm going to use pod side and then this one I'm going to use pod back. Double click on both of those and make sure your self illumination is set to 100 on both of those. And then also double click on each one and turn on this show shaded material in viewport. Notice that it creates this red slash through the header of that. That lets us know that that option is on. And what this will do is it will allow us to see the texture image on top of the object in our scene. Now double click on the front image and then use assign to selection. What that will do is it will assign the material to the selected object. Now let's go ahead and right click to end any plane creation process and I'm going to duplicate or clone this object. Let's turn on our angle snap and then turn on our rotation tool and then hold down shift and drag in the Z direction. Rotate that negative 90 degrees and then hit OK. With this one selected, let's go to our material editor and choose the side and then assign that. Let's do this one more time, holding down shift, dragging that another negative 90 degrees. And then let's go to our material editor and let's assign the back material. Now all of these are jumbled up together and I want to separate them so we can model efficiently. So let's hit Alt and W on our perspective view and let's grab our move tool and let's start moving these away from one another. So with this one selected, I have plane 003 selected. That's going to be my back image. And so what I want to do is I want to move it um, to 0 in the X and then I want to move it 0 in the Z. But then I want to do 200, or actually let's do negative 200 in the Y and that's going to push that out. Let's grab the front image. Let's do 0 and 0 in the X and Z and then 200 in the Y. And then this one we're going to do the same thing except I'm going to do 200 in the X and then 0 in the Z. Now you'll notice one thing. The front image is facing in this direction but the profile image is facing in the opposite direction. So what I need to do is I need to flip the material to where the texture is facing the opposite direction. To do that, let's go to our material editor, select the bitmap of the profile image. You'll notice that dotted line around it that lets us know that it's selected and I can start to adjust my parameters here. Let's adjust the tiling in the U direction to negative one and you'll notice that it flips the image. So now if I close this, the image is now flipped without adjusting the actual geometry. Now the reason that I want to do that is because I want to select all of my objects and I'm going to right click and go to object properties. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this back face cull and that will allow me to see through the back sides of those polygons and this is going to make it efficient whenever we start modeling so that way our reference images don't get in the way. I also want to turn off show frozen and gray and then I want to freeze those objects so that way we don't move them by accident while we're modeling. Let's hit OK. And now all of our images are in place. Now the final check that we need to do is to make sure that our 
reference images match up the viewports as we start switching between those. So here we're in the perspective viewport. Let's hit F on the keyboard to go to our front viewport. Now you'll notice here that I can't see anything, so let's hit F3 and that will show me my image in the front view. Go ahead and hit G to turn off that grid. Let's hit L to go to our left view and F3 to show that and then G to turn off that grid. That looks great. And then let's go to our back view. To do this we'll hit V on the keyboard and then K and that will show us the back view. So everything is looking great. Front for F, L for left, and then V, K for back. And then P to go to the perspective view again. So now that we have all of these set up, let's go ahead and move into our next video where we're going to start blocking in our major shapes of our ship.